Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Wizard of Legend, I suck. Sometimes I win, oftentimes I lose. <laughs> Alright, so I randomed, I rolled 31, 9, 10, 33. Let's start from lightning. 31, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 31. Spark contact. 9 from lightning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Spike track. Now that's one we haven't had in a while. 10 from lightning. Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Deferred dynamo. It's one of the lightning spear sort of deals, so I'm a fan of that. And finally, 33 from lightning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, what are we going for? 33, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, mm, 32, 33, distortion beam. Wow, what a what an incredible get for us. It's the game winning uh, combination. You know what we will do this time is we'll buy a robe. How's that? It's my Mia Culpa for the last episode. Shift. Rule Venture. Let's go for Rule. What do you got for me? Increases damage and increases armor. That's incredible. We can no longer get 200 gold to start with, but you know what? That's a fitting punishment. That is a punishment befitting a charlatan such as myself. Just checking. Um, that died like a scrub and a fool on the last episode. So I'm realizing Deferred Dynamo is like a lightning spear, but it seems like one of those, it's like your teacher told you that your paper has to be like 10 pages long. So then like page seven to page uh, 10 are just the same thing restated over and over and over in like a slightly larger font size. Hey! That's rude, mister. What are you? Covert Ops Mask. Nice. I have no clue. Hey, I hate... You are the worst. It's the... The Fire Mages are like... Fire and Earth Mages, worst enemies in the game. Ice Mages, also pretty terrible. I guess it's just Mages in general. I don't like him. <laughs> he stinks and I don't like him. Dude, the damage output is absurd. I really like, I don't want to stack the deck too much in my favor. It wasn't my intention to get stuck with the uh, Distortion Beam and stuck with, I mean, blessed by. Um, let's not take Stanza of Flame this time. Let's take Tidy Crocodile Heart. Reduces max health, but increases max health for every enemy defeated. So assuming my, my gist of this is that we got it early enough that if we uh, are able to crush enemies and enough enemies, we should be in a, an actually, like, really good spot on HP. There should be a max HP up, provided we're able to deal with the fact that, you know, for the first little bit here, obviously it's going to be uh, working to our detriment. Look at that. That was, like, textbook. Apparently, our skill didn't improve there, but yeah, no big deal. Increases lightning damage. That's perfect. Lightning damage? That's what I have. What do you got for me? Hey, back the heck up. Hey, what did I tell you about being up here and close to me, you know? Oh, we're at 260 already. Five HP per enemy? No. We're gonna end up defeating hundreds of enemies, though. You can't do that. Dare I say it? I feel like it might make things a little too easy. There's no way we're gonna get to use the signature. But anyway, what I was saying was like... You know, I don't want to just have the easiest run of all time. But I can't deny, I'm really happy to see Distortion Beam that, you know, for my money, is actually full stop the best Arcana in the game. Actually the best Arcana in the game. And this is not like, you know, where you have this conversation where you go, Oh, well, it could be many things. I'm like, nah, this is the Arcana. Like, ooh, my little pretty one, pretty one. When you're gonna give me some bound Makana? Ooh, you get distortion beam. A gift to me. 
You know I know the rest of the words I kinda because it was in rock band Played it quite a lot when I was younger Like the guitar solo a lot Okay, that was embarrassing Dad, please stop When I was your age, we liked to party You ever hear of my Sharona? Your boy loves Arcana, okay? But your boy loves a lot of things. He loves relics. He loves having slightly more HP. I think we should buy an Arcana, though. I'm gonna... I don't really want the 200 one because it doesn't seem to fit with my archetype. Maybe it does. Let's give it a chance. Increases your durability, damage, and speed of your Aegis. Then we can use that to initiate the, the lightning attack. So that's pretty much it for this floor. We don't have enough gold to buy anything else. We took a deal with the devil that, as far as I'm concerned, is actually like extremely great for us. We're 150 HP down, but that's like 30 enemies. And everything after that is going to be gravy. Mind you, max HP, I think, is deceptive. Um, it always seems great, but it really only is great. Always. No, <laughs> it only is great if you're able to actually uh, get close to your max HP, or if you get something that like heals a percentage of your max HP, etc., etc. So, um, Raspberry Cookie Box. I think I overrate it slightly, but I still think it's pretty good. I don't necessarily love any of those, and I don't like buying an Arcana when we have almost a full stack, because I know we're very likely to get one, maybe even guaranteed to get one from the boss. Yeah, just dodge right into the fire, what could go wrong, right? So we've been taking a lot of, like, really, really trash damage. Let's try to mitigate that. Well, the one dude was spared from a terrible fate. The other one aided pretty hard, but not as hard as I would have liked, apparently. Don't take that out of context. So we're almost back to our max HP where we want to be, but, you know, we do probably... Well, where we started, I should say. We want to be at 10,000 if possible, but um, we probably... Are gonna have to buy HP on this floor, which is a, a revelation that's quite embarrassing for yours truly. I swear this never happens. Buy an HP on the second floor. So, Fire Archer has to constantly be under fire. That's not meant as a pun. It's a promise. Where are we going? Well, down will work. I'm trying to think, is there anything that restores... A oh, it's a pinata! I was gonna say, that was close, but with Distortion Beam, it should be pretty obvious. Magsphere, I hate. Um, I know what it does. Sort of. All projectiles that enter this sphere around us um, start orbiting and they can hit enemies. And not only can they, of course, hit enemies, but now it can shock them as well. And they're not hitting me, so it's it's got a bonus in, in a multitude of different ways. But uh, I wouldn't mind getting rid of this. Wouldn't mind it one bit, one lick. I think we'll go find our boss room, at which point we'll be at 100% of the way through the floor. If we decide to, and we deem it appropriate and befitting an intellectual of our stature. See, this is why I don't think Magsphere is very good, by the way, is because we're fighting a bunch of melee enemies. It's not doing anything. But, uh, yeah, we can always go back, buy HP. I'm going to try to abstain at first. And this, don't get me wrong, it's a decision that could end up biting us pretty hard.
Let's see where we're at. So we healed for a lot. I think we should start by going to our relic shop. We'll probably buy a raspberry cookie box. That gives us the best chance of getting out of here. Spell thief socks, bug spray points. Let's buy the HP. It pains me a great deal. I want you to know. Deep inside of my soul, it tore me up. I've been eviscerated by this decision. But it also hits the reset button on our run. We're back at full HP. Even better than the HP we started with. And this is basically just the way for us to be like, you know what? I think we made the right decision. So I got way too enamored with what Mag Spray might do, or a Mag Sphere might do for us there. Mag Spray is what you do at the fertility clinic. That was a gross joke. But it was pretty clever. Ask your parents if you don't get that one. Okay. Still took a little bit too much damage. Life goes on. Except for her. Wait a minute. She lived? Well, for about two seconds. So our HP is going to be back in a decent spot, but not as good as we'd like. And, oh dude, I actually like the Obsidian uh, Cascade. Yeah. Daggers deal more damage and stun enemies. I love projectiles. Anything that's a projectile is like it's got a plus 700 chance for me to enjoy it. I think we're in a great spot right here. And already, like, starting to feel like we have a chance to make up for the complete disaster of the last one. So the thing that we've got going on for us that I like a lot right now is actually, oh, don't get in the poison, is a uh, raspberry cookie box. So our, our max HP, oh, you are a sneaky little devil. Beautiful. Our max HP is going to keep going up. I don't know, we might be able to finish the run at like 700, 750, something ridiculous. Uh, that gives us a lot of value. What is the... I don't remember what this does. Um, it gives us a lot of resilience for what the final boss fight is probably going to be. I don't know, that, that sentence doesn't really make sense, but just go with it, okay? And then Raspberry Cookie Box means if I don't play like absolute garbage, I should stand a pretty decent chance to get up there. Um, and, and not maybe be... Wow, that was horrible. Uh, not necessarily be at our maximum HP, but be close enough. Doing a little bit better. Not much. We're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. We have a lot of tools at our disposal, so I'm actually like genuinely kind of embarrassed with how things are going. You do not get to do this. Wow, that was an extreme waste. <laughs> I love it. I love when your dash blows up the TNT standing right next to the pit. Mm, you mad, bro? Do we still do that on the internet? I don't know if I've seen a you mad that wasn't ironic in quite some time. The you mad bro meme, it's not really a meme, it was more of a silencing tool. I know this was the point of it, but it always made me mad because it implied that, like, anger somehow... Oh no. Recover full health every time an exit portal is used. Max health is reduced and all healing has no effect. What have I done? <laughs> this seems highly bad. Signature charge rate and decay are increased dramatically, but charge signature damage is reduced. Shell of the perfect time crystal. Dude, I got no freaking idea, okay? This run's all wonky now. I think we screwed it up. We, we lost all the effectiveness of, uh, of Raspberry Cookie Box. And also of Crocodile? Oh, maybe Crocodile Heart will still work for us. In which case, this might actually be a blessing, but for now, I'm a little spotty. But we'll, we'll see if we can figure it out. I'm just like, I'm trying to picture, you know, I know an internet argument's not really on the same level, but, you know, it's like the French Revolution, Robespierre, you mad, monsieur, mon frere? 
I don't know what mad is in French. I'll just admit it. So, yeah, my lessons weren't that good, okay? Upgraded Deferred Dynamo seems fine. I'm going to just save the money for now because I don't know what's going on. We'll, we'll reconvene once we finish this floor, okay? So the big thing about this now is that our signature charges way, way faster. But is not... Uh, oh, and it decays way, way faster too, but... It doesn't do as much damage. Both of those seem fine for right now. You know, anger is not a sin. Being angry all the time at nothing is, uh, that's certainly a bad thing. People think that, you know, because of the character I play on the NLSS, I'm, I live my whole life in this, like, Larry David state of being furious. It's genuinely not the case. I'm surprisingly laid back. I, oh my lord, dude. Whoa, this is amazing. I have a sunny disposition for the most part. Believe it or not, that was a joke. Ha <laughs> ha What do you got for me? We might as well not buy heals. Let's see what Pop-Up Primer does. Increases the number of summon summoned agents, but lowers their health. Why do... Wait, let's, let's try it with like, why do birds suddenly appear? Why do trash relics just appear? Every time you do I near? Unfortunately, I've got no agents close to me. Doesn't work at all. I appreciate some of you were like, hey, pretty good. Nah, 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 nah. Not really. Yo, uh, Shock Nova is extremely great. I hate that voice. Let's stop using that voice. The only way I could see myself being happy using that voice is if I did, like, an ironic bit in it. Like, at first you start, mm, do you guys want some tacos? And then everyone goes, wow, this is a stupid bit. And then you do something like, mm, now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer by the sons of York. And people are like, what? I didn't ex this is going some directions I didn't expect whatsoever. So how am I feeling about this unique permutation we got going for us? Dude, I have no idea. But, you know what I will say? I think this does a great job, I can't believe you didn't get a dance card there, of showing off the fact that I still, and I'm not, you know, if you don't agree with me on this, that's fine, dude. But I still feel like people are sleeping on Wizard of Legend. The number one thing I heard is like, well, once you figure out how to beat it, all the runs are the same. You know, you have control over that. Welcome to my existence in Isaac for like five years, you know? That doesn't make the game bad, it just means sometimes you gotta put in a little... You gotta do a little bit of self-discipline. Absolutely, at this point, I'm taking every, everything. Sharpen stylus. Let's get all the deals with the devil. We just got an achievement. Increases damage with signature can no longer be charged. Fantastic. So now our signature um, charges faster, decays faster, and doesn't charge at all. So that's cool. Um, so I'm gonna take the Amulet of Sundering, which I know is just more damage. I'm just being real with you. I have no idea any longer. Usually, you know, you have some clue of where you stand on a run. I have no idea of where we stand. And these items cannot be dropped. Um, so I, I don't think, I'm not trying to frame it like we're in a terrible spot. Because I don't think that that's the case. I just do not know where we're at. I will say, it is a sincere loss to lose the signature charge for Chaos... Uh, or Distortion Beam, which I think is a fantastic, you know, way to basically destroy absolutely everything on the screen. But the loss of that does not necessarily make Distortion Beam a dead arcana. I think it's still very, very good. Just my two cents. This is the kind of... Oh, really smart idea there. This is the kind of run you really, really want to win. Because of the fact that it's so, like, wonky right now. 
um, that you know if you win this, it's like a big vote of confidence. This is the kind of win that makes you feel confident for more runs in the future, you know? Also find it, it helps out a lot if you can actually like hit the enemies. Something I haven't, yeah, see like I'm still messing that part up a little bit, but I can't help but feel like it would probably be a big positive positive for me if I could actually land some shots. Um, so we have 172 gold. I'm not going to buy an Arcana, but to be honest with you, I'm getting close on relics as well. So I think I'll probably save, knowing that the boss is coming up. I actually quite like our loadout. We'll see what our Arcana is from this guy. Our DPS seems incredible. Like, to put it in Isaac terms, we basically have like the D... Well, we have missing though right now. I have no idea where we stand. It's one, two... Three... Four. Okay, now we get in there. We do our thing. Oh my lord. Seems to be going okay so far. Just wait, you know he's gonna pop an ult on this one. That's how you know when it's safe. And you can't, this is something I've failed at so badly in this game from time to time. Don't be afraid to let him get like one free combo in and just like don't take any damage yourself that's so much more important than killing him quickly all right that's our enhanced dash arcana 100 percent that's not even like uh in my head i have to do literally zero uh mental arithmetic to figure out how we're gonna make this work it has invincibility it's an incredible option for us i think that's one of like it's got to be considered like a B plus to A tier uh, get for us. I was going to say, you got to lock... Oh my god! <laughs> I knew they were going to be fast, but I didn't think they'd be that fast. Sorry. I actually think that... Um, what It was the red button, right? Yeah. Uh, the red button is striking me as like an actually incredible... Relic? Because what does it mean for us? Well, it means that as long as you don't die on the floor, you're going to be in a great spot on the next floor. You know, like the... I would kill for that on, on almost every run. Signature charge is faster at low health. Now, I will say, if we could rework this run... First off, I put me and you together. Wait, that's a dictionary joke. Doesn't work in this context. Um, if I could rework this run... Probably I would invest a little less heavily in relics that do absolutely nothing for us. Um, with our, how should we say, a unique permutation that we have on the go. But still, I actually think it's not that bad right now. Oh, I definitely want that. So the thing is, it might seem like, how could you lose if you have the big red button? Well, you can lose by, you know, getting so low on HP on a floor that you, uh, well, there's nothing you can do about it, right? You know, if you fall below a certain level of HP that puts you in the danger zone, it's not like you can just go to the shop, toss in a relatively meager amount of gold, and then be fine. It just, it won't do anything for you. So I do think there's, like, an obvious negative. I don't think it's exclusively positive. But, like, that item by itself has me in this incredible position right now. I think it's a really great relic if you're not particularly strong at the game. I don't, I mean, by the way, I, I make jokes at my own expense from time to time. It's not a sign of, like, uh, you know, low self esteem or something like that. It's just, it's just a joke. Sometimes, you know, as someone who makes, what's the self, uh, Wait, what was it called? Was it? See, I'm very stupid, as you <laughs> you can see. Um, that's a meta joke. Um, what's it called when you make fun of yourself? Self-deprecating. 
I'm very self-deprecating. It's very annoying as a self-deprecating person. When you tell a joke and then someone goes, Oh, you're not that stupid, though. You know, I know. You don't have to tell- How stupid do you think I am that I need you of all people to tell me I'm not stupid? You know? It's just a joke again. We got layers upon layers here. Don't say like an onion. Permafrost cube. Adds a chance to freeze foes. Hand me a 9 and I'll defeat foes. You almost made a big mistake, but then I made a big mistake, and it's all cross mistakenation. The other thing is, you know, hey, 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 not loving our HP. We haven't found our red shop yet, but we found our other two shops. You know you're healing to full, so what do we want to do? I mean, we could come here and buy another relic, but that seems bad because we're at 12. Now, some of them are, yeah, 12. Some of them we want to drop. But we'd rather just invest in an Arcana for now. I think that floor went just fine. Genuinely. Um, now we're fighting Ice Lady. I will say... Okay, well, let's wait till we get through this floor until we start to worry about... Beautiful. What happens on the next floor, but like... I do think against the Ice Boss... And this is something I've, like, never done in this game, really. Um, but we should probably... Hello. Consider... Oh, you fools. Consider equipping Mag Sphere. Uh, because most of her annoying attacks are projectile-based. So if we equip Mag Sphere, it's not about... Uh... Hello? It's not about doing more damage to her. I don't think we need anything related to healing here, because I'm not even confident it would work for us. Um, it's more about just making sure that we don't die, because again, as long as our HP is above zero when the floor ends, we're going to be feeling just fine. Very dangerous. Yeah, okay. When the blue robes are dead, we're fine. Not dead, huh? Extremely dead. Oh, that almost... Just to, like, slightly stop in front of these guys is devastating. So there's a red shop back there. That was the healing shop. There's the green shop, the relic shop that we've seen. So we, we, we're going to have an arcana shop available somewhere. That, to be honest, it's going to be hard to care about. But I could be swayed. It's not that I dislike the Arcana in there. It's that I need... I don't have a good safety net right now, because I need to carry... Um, Mag Sphere, or I would like to carry Mag Sphere and replace our R with it for the boss fight alone. I think you are in the position exactly where you want to be right now. Yeah, that was good. This should be the boss fight. Dude, I was just going to say, this is the boss fight. It's a pretty quick run by my standards. Nope, no, 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 no. There we go. This is the easiest boss of all time. That was lovely. I think we... Well, we should check for relics and get the heck out of here, dude. So we got 295 gold. It's quite a lot. We don't want that. I'll just tell you that straight up. Um, what do we not want? Raspberry cookie box makes no sense. Pop-up primer is not good. Hyperbolic train literally does nothing. We can't buy three relics. We could buy two. What's the grimoire of ruin? Increases the damage of summoned agents. All right, I guess I'll just go screw myself. Boots of frenzy. Defeating enemies grants a chance to temporarily add unlimited charges to your movement arcana. Fair enough. Fair enough. One second. I've received a text message from my wife. 
It is an emoji of some creatures dancing. I will reply with my hey emoji. And then now I am free from that micro obligation. And I can focus entirely on fighting this enemy. I think we're okay for the boss fight. I think we're equipped relatively well. So just remember, it's five attacks. There's one. Don't even need to use mag spear there. Two. Three. That one's bad. Four. Five. It's really the whole... Oh my god. The whole reason this exists is for the ult. And just remember, it's R. So if you're going to panic, panic and hit R. Okay, fair enough. So that may or may not even work. I have no idea. It seemed like it was not capturing the projectiles. So I'm just leveling with you, lady. You can hit me with that water beam as much as you want. I'm on full HP for the rest of my existence. As soon as I get out of this floor. That was not bad at all. No thank you, I like our existing dash, and I think we've decided, like, Magsphere just doesn't really get the job done. If it doesn't block those attacks, there are projectile attacks on the final boss, but... So, the only thing that sucks about this is any damage we take in the first phase, we won't be able to heal out of any of it for the final phase, so... Now the E is not, in my opinion, going to be particularly strong. Oh, that was dangerous. Uh, for right now, but it's definitely going to be important for the next stage. It's what you use to close the gap. Oh, extremely dumb. So that they can't uh, dodge around you forever. Careful. Alright, that wasn't too bad. We lost 49 HP. We do still have our respawn available, but we won't get healed from the actual, like, uh, the hat breaking when we respawn. Alright, that's pretty bad. We got one more attack here. Hello. Yeah, you want to play it on today's stream? I would like to! Uh, get away from me! You know what, you're very lucky. No, 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 no! Oh, we're caught in the moment. We can't get out of, like, Bono in 2002! Alright, you know, no, no, just wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. Come back to life. Good attempt. Uh, yeah, it's not a good time to have 23 HP. <laughs> we got hit for 24. Still a great run. The most confusing run we've had in our entire lives. But for now, hey, remember that time we dropped all those useless relics? That was a good moment. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps us a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.